Hi folks, Carol Ann here from SassyTownhouseLiving.com and me and Ollie are, as you can see, Ollie right over there, my little pooch. We are in my bedroom today and I have this Revair dryer laid out on my bed because it is a lot of equipment and I wanted to kind of show you what it is and how it works. So I did not use it yet, but I wanted to show you what you're getting because I noticed a lot of the videos that are out there don't really explain um, all the equipment and everything that you need to do to get started. So after I get done with this video, I'm going to go wash my hair and then I'll show you a quick demo of how to use it and if we love it or not. So when you get it, you get this big base and it is a little bit heavy. So this is not something that you would want to like travel with because it is a pretty heavy piece of equipment and it's easy to put together so um, the hose this hose here is where your hair gets sucked into and it kind of works on the same principles as a vacuum so it sucks your hair in you section your hair off and it dries in sections and it's supposed to like dry your hair really nicely, straighten it out and make it nice and smooth. So we're going to test out that theory. So this hose is pretty long. I'd say it's at least five feet. So um, that's good. You can at least have enough room to keep this one piece, you know, say on your bathroom floor while you're drying your hair. Now on the base of the hose, there's on off switches too. And it looks like two um, speeds so it looks like there's a low and a high speed and when you get it you need to connect the hose into the base and then the base comes with a filter this is what needs to be cleaned after every like few uses I think they said three to five so after you use this three to five times you just pop this out clean it with soapy water and pop it back in when you pop it back in make sure you line it up correctly it's got to fit into this little space down here and then you take this hose and you seat it into the unit and then once it's in you lock it into place so now it's securely locked into place and here we have our controls and they go from zero to seven I guess depending on the heat intensity that you're after. So I'm, I'm thinking that's for the cord, this little holder on the side, and then it comes with this hose holding base. So I guess you'd put this on your vanity top, and then in between, while you're blow drying your hair, you just place this in here, and it acts as a holder for your hose, okay? And then they do give you a microfiber towel to keep um, for your hair for after you wash your hair. A little bag for your microfiber towel. They also give you some clips, which are handy because you definitely want to clip your hair up. And then they give you a bag for your base, what your holding base. And then of course you get this huge bag to stow it away. So as you can see, uh, when you're done, you just, you know, can keep this in your bathroom on the floor and just stow everything away. And again, this is the Rev Air. Um, you also get what looks to be like a spritzing water bottle. I'm assuming that that's what that is. And that's pretty much it. And of course you get manuals, you know, all these instructions to tell you what to do. And it comes with a little card that says, don't apply any oils to your hair. Don't saturate your hair before using. Um, don't, don't, do not use excess substances on or in the device. So I guess they don't want you using anything to clean it with other than maybe a damp rag. I'm not really sure about that. And then it says filter and base should be scrubbed with a mild detergent every three to five uses. So with that said, we are going to get started. I mean, they give you quick start guides too, which I always appreciate those. Um, I, I'm a quick start guide kind of person. Unless I need to pull out the full instructions, I really do appreciate these. So they show you, you can take the filter and put it in the top rack of your dishwasher too, if you don't want to hand wash it. And here's a before and after picture. 
So, I mean, I have straight hair. I do not have curly hair. Um, but um, it's very annoying to dry my hair, and I'm hoping, because it is long, so I'm hoping that this Revair makes things easy and my hair comes out nice and straight and silky. So, with that said, I am going to go wash my hair, and then I'm going to show you exactly how this works. Okay, so here I am. New makeup. I hate it. But I just took a shower, washed my hair, and I want to show you how I'm going to use my Revair. So I have this nifty little stand right here next to me. And yeah, I'm in my office, but you can really take this in any room that you like. And I have everything ready to go. So what I'm going to do is start to section my hair. Now, I'm only going, it's so weird because everything is like reversed. It's so bizarre. But anyway, I'm just going to get this piece out of the way. Now, these are the clips that come with the Revair. And they're really nice, too. Um, oh, my gosh. Since everything is backwards, I'm kind of like getting all screwed up. Okay, so I figured I'd start with this piece. This is about the right section. Oh, my gosh. I look like a banshee. Okay. It's so weird. No makeup. Oh, hate it. But I do love the way my skin is. I've been um, using a new skincare routine, and I will pop the link up above so that you could check it out because my skin just feels magnificent. But anyway, yeah, no makeup. Hate it. But who cares? Nobody cares. So anyway, um, let's get this thing going. Now, it is very noisy, so I'm not going to speak. I'm just going to take this section now. This kind of dried out because I've been fiddling around since my shower. But I do have this really awesome spritzer bottle that they gave me with my Revair. And I think it's awesome. So I'm going to re-dampen my hair just a wee little bit. I mean, what's fair is fair. We have to make sure we do this correctly. And again, everything is reversed, so I'm wanting to, like, grab the other side. But, okay, so that's about wet enough. Okay. I want to make sure it's wet. Let's do the bottom a little bit more. Okay, that's good. Because they say don't saturate your hair so that's not saturated it's just damp so i'm going to turn this on again it's very very noisy so i'm not going to talk i'm just going to dry my hair and let's see how this thing works <sighs> Have that on low. I'm going to turn it up. Ah, it's definitely warmer. I know I said I wasn't going to talk, but. Okay, so that's the first section, and I have to say, it dried my hair really nicely. It feels very silky. 
So I'm going to try one more section. Now I'm not going to bore you to tears and do the entire head, but I definitely want to show you another piece. And again, I'm going to spritz it. Now I did have that on a two on the base and I had this on high and that seemed perfect. And I must say my hair feels pretty silky and it did dry it really nicely. This is nice and dry up by the root and so far so good. say excuse my messy bangs I didn't even do them yet um, it took about 60 seconds for each section but my hair is very pin straight to begin with so if you have really curly hair um, and I'll put some pictures up to show you it does straighten your hair while it's drying and I do have it on a low setting because like I said, I have very straight hair to begin with, but it dried my hair beautifully. My hair feels pretty silky. Um, the only thing I would have to do is take my flat iron and just bend the front under a little bit. Um, this is my hair that I didn't try, and it's pretty straight, as you can see. I mean, it does have some slight wave to it, so that did remove the wave and it made my hair very silky and dry so and it, it only took um like per section about 60 seconds so for me it went really really quickly i have like medium fine hair i do have a lot of hair but it's medium fine and it dries very fast because i recently started putting highlights in it and that does make your hair dry faster too all in all, though, I'm going to dry the rest of my hair with my Revair. Um, I'm not going to sit here and make you watch me do it because you kind of get the drift. It, it really worked great. It dried my hair really fast. It didn't hurt. I didn't feel like my hair was pulling or tugging or anything like that. So that was good. Dried my hair very fast. My hair feels silky. Um, I have no frizz, as you can see. Um, all in all, it's great. It dried my hair really the way I expected it to. And I like very much that um, it does it quickly too. When I use my regular blow dryer, my hair's like blowing all over the place. It drives me crazy. So this is a great way to keep 
your hair like contained keep in control of the situation now you should section your hair off better than I did so ideally what you want to do is like lift it this way section it up and then do each underneath section that way but I just wanted to quickly show you um, you can clearly see the difference mess not a mess and again it feels great it feels very silky and soft and nice and it did take a lot of that frizz as you can see you see how it's like a little wavy and frizzy it did take that out so I'm really liking that um, and if you want to style it you could just take your flat iron quickly and bend or curl your hair after it's done you'd have to do that anyway after you dry your hair so seems like a win-win situation to me I'm gonna go dry the rest of my hair and I'll be right back okay so my hair is dry it's not styled of course but it's nice and dry and it feels really silky and it feels completely dry too especially up by my root very nice and dry it doesn't look flat and like I said I didn't style it yet of course but I'll just take my hot iron my flat iron and just do what I normally do every day which takes a minute or two all in all it dried really really fast it's not that cumbersome or heavy I know it looks it but it's really not it's very easy to hold I love the stand let me show you that again so in between your sections all you do is you place the hose and in the stand and it's so easy now again you should have sectioned your hair better than I did um, next time I do it in my bathroom I will pull it up and section it and dry my hair from the bottom but I wanted to show you um, it was more important for me to show you how this works and as you can see even if I don't style my hair it's not it's not too bad I mean I will fix the bangs but um, I think it came out great and it's not frizzy it feels very silky it took all of those freaky bends out of my hair that even though my hair is straight I do have some little wave going on so it did manage to pull that out of my hair and make it nice and straight so all in all I definitely love my Revair I think it's a nifty little tool oh it has a lock and unlock position on the bottom which I just noticed so as I'm using it I'm discovering some cool things about it and again once you turn it on on the base you have to turn it on on the hose part too and there's two settings high and high and low and then you have settings on the base as well so make sure that you're aware start low see how it feels in your hair I had mine on like a two or a three um, I don't really like high heat when I'm drying my hair and again because it's color treated I'm pretty careful about that I don't have any product in my hair there's no defrizzers or straighteners or anything like that so all in all I love the Revair um, it is a little pricey but worth it you will have this for years and years I'm sure it seems like it's very well made and you get a nice long hose so you can put it on the floor in your bathroom while you're drying your hair it did dry my hair much faster than a traditional blow dryer would and it did take out all of those frizzies and again the thing I love most is I didn't have hair blowing all over the place while I was drying it getting tangled and knotted and that's like one of the main reasons that attracted me to want to try this because that drives me crazy when I'm drying my hair um, and then like I'll dry one section and the whole thing will be knotted and then I have to comb it that didn't happen at all so all in all I absolutely love this I will put the links in the description as well as in an article on sassytownhouseliving.com and I'll put that link to you so be sure to check it out thank you so much today for watching my little demonstration uh, please subscribe and thumbs up this video also put your notifications on and that'll let you know when we have a new video out so thanks so much again for watching and have yourself a great and safe day
Oh, and if you have any questions, of course, leave them in the comments below. I'll be sure to answer them. Thanks again. Bye.